And since 1983, Episcopal Community Services has grown to be the largest provider of services for those who are homeless or formerly homeless in this city. As said, shared with you earlier, ECS has four major programs that serve nearly 12,000 men and women and children. Now listen to these programs. Three shelters, nine supportive housing units, adult education and vocational training programs, a senior center, and 18 aging and disabled resource centers throughout the city. That is a commitment to inspire. Thank you, ECS. Diane Einstein called Bishop Swing one day and said, you know, it's raining out there and it's cold and you need to help. And that's when we started at Grace Cathedral and then several months later we were able to take over the sanctuary. It's been a privilege and one of the proudest things I think I've done with my life is being a part of this group. And it's wonderful to see so many supporters. Some of you here I know made peanut butter sandwiches, set up pots. I appreciate your continued support of the sanctuary and all the rest of the homeless shelters that we run right now. And please continue to support them. It's very, very needed at this time. And I'm honored by the award. It is an honor and a privilege to be here. As an individual who constantly works on the ground floor with the problems, the rejected, the neglected, and abused class that all of us see in our community, I am just humbly appreciative about many of the things that we do on our board. ECS, Episcopal Community Service, is an action board. At the end of the and day, that's what we're in the business of doing, is using funds to help support really important community needs. And so, I'll just say that on behalf of the Board of Trustees and of the other staff, it's really our privilege to have been able to partner with Episcopal Community Services for so long, and we look forward to a very long and enduring relationship. Thank you. The market rate housing, comfort, relies on generous spaces. Comfort in homeless housing relies on the illusion of spaciousness. <laughs> homeless housing balances the desire for community with the dignity of choosing when and if to socialize. Housing for the formerly homeless concentrates amenities where the greatest number of people can enjoy them. Well-designed market rate housing raises property values. And well-designed affordable housing also raises property values. My uh, gratitude is with you for being part of this work, for helping us to provide a safety net on a daily basis. Uh, not just daily, 365 days a year, uh, 24 hours a day, hard work, tough work, safety when there's nothing else between folks in the street, but not just safety, because we believe in them, because you believe in them, the people that we serve, the opportunity then to go that next step. And uh, so for all that we serve, there's a safety net. For many, it's going the next step and making homelessness a part of their past. And that's really what we have attempted for almost 30 years here at Episcopal Community Services uh, to do. And uh, so grateful that you're a part of it. 